Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create two amazing animated border on cards using Elementor. And I'm also going to show you how to make this effect to show when visitor hover on the card. As you can see here, when we hover on this card, the animation shows. But and also how to make it so that it displays on the card normal state like what we have here. This is our first uh, animated border on card sample. And this is the second sample of our animated border on card effect, as you can see. Now, when you hover here, you can see the effect also shows here. And then here, this is when the card is on this normal state with the effect showing wonderfully here. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So on our Elemental Editing screen, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to click on this plus icon here and we're going to select our structure. So the structure we're going to select for this is this structure here. Now for this structure, we're going to set the content width to full width. And then for the minimal height, we're going to change the unit from pixel to BH, that's viewport height. And then we're going to give it a value of 100. Now we're going to come over to justify content to the center and then align items to the center as well. Then I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon and drag a container and drop it right here. Now for this container here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and rename the container to first, like I always do in order for me to be able to refer to them easily. And you know which container I'm talking about in particular. So for this first container here, I'm going to come over here, set the content width to full width. And then for the width, we're going to change the unit from percentage to pixel. Okay, so we'll now set the value to 350 pixel. And then for the height, we're going to give it a height of 500 pixel. Okay, so now, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over here, justify content to the center and align item to the center as well. Then we'll head over to the style option. Now for the style option, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a background color of black. Okay, and then we'll come over to the border and give it a border radius of 20 pixel all around. So we now have something that looks like this. Okay. And that we've done this. The next thing we're going to do, we're just going to come over here, click on this plus icon here and drag another container and drop it right within the first container. Now for this container here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this container our child container. Okay. Now for this child container here, we're going to keep, set the content width to full width. And then for the width here, we're going to change the unit from percentage to pixel. And then, we're going to give it a value of 335. And what this means is that the initial width we gave the first container was 350. Now we subtracted 15 pixels from that 350. Now that is where we get this 335 pixel. Now for the minimal height, which for the first container was 500 pixel. Now for the child, we're going to subtract 15 pixel as well. So we're going to have 485 pixel. Now we're going to come over here, justify content to the center and align item to the center as well. Then we'll go over to the style option. Now we're going to give it a background color of this. And then we're going to come down here to the border and give it a border radius of 15 pixel all round instead of 20 pixel. Now you can, you can see what we've done. This is what we have with our border here, which you cannot see now. But in order for us to see it clearly, I'm just going to go to the first container here and change the background color to this. Okay, so now we can see precisely our border here. Okay, so now that we've done this and everything now looks fine, I'm just going to go back and turn this back to black. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this plus icon here and drag a heading widget here. Now for this heading widget, I'm going to name it 1. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the style option and tweak it a little bit, change the color to white. And then for the typography, we're going to give it a font size of 100 pixel. And then for the weight, we're going to set the weight to 700 bolt. So we'll have something like that. Then we'll come back here and drag a text widget right below the heading. And then we'll go to the style option, tweak it a little bit as well. Align it to the center, give it a color of somewhat off-white. And then when I come down here, come over here and drag a button widget right below this text editor. Now for this button widget, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the style option. For the background color, we're going to give it a color of something like that. And then we're going to come over, give it a border radius of 20 pixel all around. And then 
for the padding, we're going to give it a padding of 15 pixel all around and unlink this. And then for the left, we're going to set the net value to 30 pixel. For the right, we're going to set the value to 30 pixel as well. Okay. So now that we've done that, we now have something that looks like this. This is our basic card. Okay. Now for this, we, I would like us to remember that we'll have a border here, which is not showing clearly. Now to see that border back, I'm going to go back to the first card and then I'm just going to come here and change the color so you can remember that there is a border there. All right. So we'll take it back. Okay. So now that we're done this, the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to head over to my Atom Code Editor. Now I told you that we're going to have two different animated card effects on hover. Now I'm going to show you the two different effects we're going to have now for the first effect i'm going to head over to my atom code editor where the code is and then i'm going to copy the code this is the code for the first card animation I'm just going to copy this and uh, then i head back here now for not the first child the first the first container here if we go to the advanced settings under the layout i'm just going to come down to the custom css and i'm going to paste our code here now mind you this custom css feature is only available for Elementor Pro users. Now, if you do not have the Elementor Pro users, not to worry, there is a link in the description of this video where you can get the Elementor Pro plugin. All right, so we're just going to paste the code we've copied here. Now that we've pasted the code, we'll, we'll come over here and we'll over. We can see this is the first animated animation on our card that I was talking about. This is it. You can see it looks wonderful. Okay, so now that you've done that and if you do not like this first animated animation, I'm going to show you the second animation. And to do so, I'm just going to head back to my code editor and I'm going to come down to this second animation card code. Now, this code here, not to worry, I'm going to make this code available on the comment section of this video. So it's going to be pinned there so for you to access it for free. So I'm just going to copy this second animation. And then I'll head back to our uh, Elementor editor. And then for this code for the first animation, I'm just going to highlight it and then I'm going to delete it. So now I'm going to paste our second code here. So now when I paste it, you can see this is what we have here. Now, there are so many ways you can tweak this code in order to achieve your desired outcome. So I'm going to show you how you can tweak it. Now I'm going to go back here. Now for the code, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to explain this for you here where you have this color one and color two. What this means is that this is the color for the gradient we use in our background here. So you can change the color for, to whatever color you want to suit your design. Okay. So the next thing here is in a situation whereby you, you do not want uh, this to show only when the user hover. You want it to show on the normal state of the card so that uh, it doesn't display only when the user hover so to do so all you just need to do is to come over here where you see this hover here and then this column right after the hover right sorry right before the hover you just highlight it and you delete it now you can see that this feature now shows even when you do not hover on the card as you can see so but if you're not okay with this and you still want to tweak things a little bit further and you do not want the animation you just want this to be static so to do so, you just need to come down here where you see this animation here. What you just need to do is to comment it out. And you now have a static border here like this. Okay. And in the situation whereby you still want to push things further just to suit your designs. And you want, you do not want a, a gradient border. You want a, a solid colored border. So what to do so, all you just need to do is to come over here. Under this background here, what you're going to do is you're just going to highlight this right before this semicolon here and you're going to delete it. And then whatever color you want, you can use for your, you can just say, let's say we just type the color code here. And this is the color that comes to mind, this red. You can paste it here and you can see that you now have a solid color here. And if you want to make use of this button color here, we can just come here and did this button color here and then come over here copy this color and go back here and then we'll come back here and scroll down and replace this with it okay so we now have something that looks like this and you can still come over here for this animation that will comment out we're just going to restore it back and we can still have something that looks like this so 
at the end of it all, it depends on how you want. You can tweak it as much as you want to achieve whatever you want. But the basic thing is you now have the basic knowledge as to how to come about something that looks like this. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here for this first container here. I'm just going to toggle that. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it. Duplicate it. And then we're just going to have something that looks like this. As you can see. Or better still, we can come over for this middle container here. Just going to come over here. And then what I'm going to do is come to the style option here. And then for this animation here, um, comment it out so we now have something static like that whereas the rest are moving it's just static or oh, still yet I can still come over here and then add the column and I'll bring back our hover effect so this shows now when it hover and then do the same here restore back our animation and then you can see now it depends on how you want to make use of this so I hope this has been helpful to you. So if you're new to our channel, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you find that is if you find this video very helpful to you. And also remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And also in any way you are confused or need some clarification or have suggestion, you can also drop that on the comment section of this video and I'll do well to attend to it. But until then, see you in our next video. Bye bye.